food sovereignty um, is a, a concept which is distinct from food security because food security is talking about um, accessibility to food and um, availability of food. But uh, at the countryside, where these people depend on you know tilling the land to uh, get food, eh, you cannot talk about accessibility when there is no availability. My name is Richard Mbunda. I'm um, a faculty member in the Department of Political Science, uh, University of Dar es Salaam, and uh, a PhD candidate. And uh, my study is on uh, uh, peasant agriculture and food sovereignty in Tanzania. Well, I was born and raised uh, in the countryside. Uh, I is called Mbinga, southern part of uh, Tanzania. And um, there, basically, we uh, cultivate um, coffee as a cash crop, but also uh, food crops, uh, mainly maize and beans. So I, I grew up tilling the land in order to earn a living. That's what my parents are doing. They earn their income from tilling the land. So when there's crop failure, they don't have income eh, to access food from the other regions or even if it is imported from outside the country. So that's why I thought uh, we should talk about food sovereignty because it talks about their right you know, to control the production process in terms of uh, what is being produced, uh, the quality and quantity. They say um, food shortages in Tanzania is uh, largely a function of unsustainable peasant agriculture, which I think also is a uh, is not true because it is the peasants who have been feeding the country. And uh, the government acknowledged that 95% uh, of the food that is consumed domestically is produced by the peasants. We have uh, close to uh, 30 million hectares that can be used for you know, irrigation farming. And it's only 1% of that land is actually being uh, you know, used for irrigation farming. So you can imagine, eh, there is, uh, nothing has been done to develop that land. If you look at it, you know, you will see that uh, uh, the problems that are, uh, or the challenges that the uh, peasant agriculture is facing with regard to po food production, those that, uh, you know, if the state plays a certain role, which of course I say uh, that developmental role, um, can be can be solved, you know, so the uh, the peasant can be able to produce enough food to meet their uh, annual consumption, but also, you know, uh, surplus that they can sell to uh, get you know their other basic needs. In Africa, like Tanzania, for example, it is um, a new concept, and uh, I think one of the challenges also is that uh, the peasants are unaware of the movement. So I think they need to be educated. It is the work of civil society organizations, and um, I surely think uh, some of them are picking up the idea. And uh, with time, I think also with uh, the work of academics like, like myself, the, the movement will be picked up in, in, in Africa and, uh, and Tanzania in particular.